basic principle of the shinobi, just the basic principle, is you have to have a correct mind in all respects. Even though the end results of this art are conspiracy and deception. You see what I mean? So he's saying, I get it, you're going to be doing your conspiracy, it's deception, but you have to have a right mind. Because if you don't have the correct mind, you could kind of go to, like, you know, I hate to use the word the dark side, but, you know, you could go that way with it. You're supposed to be doing it for your Lord. You're supposed to be doing it for your country. This idea of making sure that you guys have having correct session and making sure that even though, yes, we're going to be, you are training in the art of dis disguise and deception and espionage and, you know, and, you know, all this kind of stuff, the reason you're doing it is if you're doing it for the correct reason, it's good. If you do it for the wrong reason, it's bad. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, it can't be because you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for your own gain. And that's its whole point. So it's Like a ninja suit is to be do drills that make you agile, that make you flexible, that make you like a cat, like always being able to, you know what I mean? That's not always just let's do a new sword technique. It's learning flexibility through motion, power through motion, how to control your body better. The more, the better you can control your body, the better you're going to be at stealth. Talk to you guys today about three jutsus. Now, what we have what's called is tonjutsu, which is a um, evasion technique. So, okay, tonjutsu. So, you always hear the word like mokutan no jutsu, dotan no jutsu, suitan no jutsu, katan no jutsu. The idea about tan means evasion. But everyone thinks that this evasion, the idea of tonjutsu or evasion, is simply to evade from the enemy. It doesn't always mean that. In fact, there's a very big philosophical reason why it's tonjutsu with a ninjutsu. You're evading away from reality. You're evading away from what people see. You're not part of what the reality is of the view, right? I'm not saying it, you're not using tanjutsu to not evade from the enemy. But it, what I'm saying is the word tanjutsu, it means more than just evading from someone. It means more. You're evading from the perception of reality. The idea of ninjutsu is to be transparent. You're there, but you're not there. No one's supposed to see you. It doesn't matter whether you're doing ninjutsu, which is dark ninjutsu, where they don't see you at all, right? Or you're doing yonin, yoninjutsu, which means you're in the vision of others. Either way, they do not see you. They do not see your intent. They do not see the reality of what you are doing, whether you're yonin or whether you're inin. Nobody sees the reality of what you're doing. So to evade from that reality, you use different tonjutsu. Now we have what's called the Ten Chi Jin, which is like heaven, earth, man. So you have Ten Tan Jupo, and there are ten methods of evasion within Ten Tan Jupo. There's Chi Tan Jupo, which is the ten methods of earth evasion. And then you have the Jin Tan Jupo, which are the ten methods of um, uh, evasion, like man evasion, if you will, right? So you got ten techniques of the heaven, ten techniques of earth, ten techniques of man. And that's where you get those 30 Tan Jutsu, right? So Moku Tan. called uh, Kanoa Gakure, which means leaf hiking, okay? And um, Kanoa Gakure, it's, it talks about how every tree has a thousand leaves, and each different tree has a thousand leaves, and even the same tree, like say a pine tree and a pine tree, each of them have a thousand leaves, and they're all different, right? And it's saying this idea of leaf hiding, this concept is you need to think of that this flexibility, if every leaf is the same yet different, that idea of flexibility is how you should use to infiltrate. So when you look at leaf hiding or Kanoa Gakure, it says each tree has a thousand leaves and each leaf is a thousand ways different than the other leaf. So you need to approach your infiltration the same way. However, even though the oak tree may have a thousand different oak leaves, 
the pine tree has a thousand different pine leaves or pine needles, yeah? So even though they're all different, if you're going to be, if you're going to infiltrate into the pine, you need to look or be part of that. There are a thousand different ways to be, to fit in there without being seen. There's a thousand different ways to get in there and become invisible. But you still have to be part of the oak if you're going to be an oak. Same thing with the pine. If you're going to go into the pine, you need to be like a pine. But there's a thousand different needles on there, and every one of those needles are completely different too. So there's a thousand different ways to do that. But if you're going to if you're going to hide in the oak tree, you need to be the oak tree. If you're going to hide in the pine tree, you need to be the pine tree. You need to do what you need to do when you need to do it. So this is that concept of uh, kage no kamai. Right? Shadow posture, blending into the surroundings, being what you need to be when you need to be it. Right? Yeah. So that kind of comes into the same tradition. Concept of end of the day one of the Shinobi no Jutsu um, Taikai and what we're going to do now is urban stealth walking so we're going to um, go through an urban setting rather than always in the woods and always in the wilderness we're going to walk walk through the city and look at the street lights and look at the way the lights are the the, the moon and things like that and how you can move uh, without giving away your identity or move stealthily through an urban setting so that's what we're going to be working on now Ur